I'm going to give you the bottom line up front. This is a diagram of the lower part of the KitchenAid refrigerator and the leak that I was troubleshooting was caused from a rusty galvanized steel drip pan which I have highlighted here in yellow and this thing actually sits about here in the refrigerator just above this evaporator and all of that sits behind the styrofoam piece which has the fan in it and all this is covered up including this water reservoir is covered up by the cover that you can remove with two quarter inch screws so the video shows me disassembling the refrigerator and trying to figure out what the problem is this part cost fifty dollars from sears and this is about a six or seven year old refrigerator this is a KitchenAid side-by-side -side refrigerator several years old and we've got a leak see how much water is there the leak is coming right from there so i've taken out the drawers which are right here okay and i'm going to take off this panel see if i can see what's behind there so there's a couple of the screws on the left and right side so i'm going to take that off and see what's behind here Okay, got the screws out with a quarter inch driver like that. Now, what's behind there? Okay, well, there's water there, hmm, water back there. Okay, so there's a fan on the back side of that. Let's just show you what's under there. Just to uh, sun it for a second and see if I can figure out where the leak is. Um, there, it looks like there's water hoses, I suppose. So that's always suspicious for a potential leak. And then down here, underneath this thing, this is where some, I see some water under there. So, it's definitely coming from somewhere. Um, there's some goo right there. I don't think that's water. It looks like just something spilled. So I'll clean that up. So, I don't see any water leaking down from anywhere. That's a little suspicious right in the middle of the screen right there. I'll um, check that out see if there's potentially a drip right there. So, um, hmm. right there there's some rust. Might indicate water is dripping on that. So anyway, I'm just gonna keep looking around here, see if I can spot the source of the leak. Okay, so I pulled out this um, radiator just a little bit, fan is off, and you can really see some gunk back there that's been going for a while. And um, what's a little bit strange is it seems like it's got some rust associated with it. All right, so here's the piece of metal and you can see it was taped to the back back there so here's where i just removed that from so this obviously has been here a long time uh, this is a piece of sheet metal um, galvanized so that's just water sitting on it it'll get it rusty so if that is a condensation drain oh it's quite nasty Hmm, let's uh, try the other side. I 
Okay. And it's probably clogged from the rust. So what I did, I got my shop back with the tube. And you can see the wood floors. I really did not want to pull this refrigerator out. It's pretty easy to replace that drain tube from the back. But um, it's not easy to get the refrigerator out in my case. Um, because I, I gotta get some wood and everything else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to push this tube down there. It's maybe a quarter inch, maybe three eighths. Well, certainly no, no smaller than that. And it's clear so we can see what happens. And uh, let's just turn it on. stuff go through through here okay, so faced with the idea of putting this back in the refrigerator and this just is not going to work uh, it's just going to continue to corrode I could sand it and paint it but it's just not going to be a long-term solution so I just happened to think about this uh, roll of aluminum which is roof flashing and it's very thin and very easy to work with and I've done some things like this before so just uh, use that as a template to cut out a piece and then if you just use a couple pieces of wood and some C clamps and tin snips you can um, hang the edges of this thing over the corner of uh, the wood or or of the uh, your work surface and just lightly tap it with a hammer so you can get some pretty nice edges formed if you want to. So the idea is that basically you can see the shape of this thing that uh, is sort of shaped to flow down to the hole. So I tried to emulate that with this thing. Um, it looks like it might work or actually work better than the original one. So um, and I put some uh, clear silicone on the corners where I uh, had to fold them up and maybe they weren't, uh, weren't uh, exactly sealed. So anyway, that's the part. I'm gonna let this dry and uh, see if I can install it.